G'day YouTube. This video is on the top five browsers currently in Linux Mint. Now, there's quite a few of them, but there is a top five, uh, as I've seen. And I'll just start from the top pretty much. So at number five would definitely have to be NetSurf. Now, this is used in a bunch of distributions, but um, the good thing about NetSurf is it's really, really lightweight doesn't support everything, but it's really, really like no frills lightweight for when you need it uh, in smaller distros and sometimes in Mint when you just want to check out a thing or two. Now the fourth one on the list is called Epiphany. As you can see, really lightweight looking as well. In fact, the Epiphany browser is said to be the one in Android as well on Android devices. So in a sense, this is a uh, very similar the engine. And um, as I said, very lightweight, very quick as well. Now, coming down to the top third one is Opera. Now, Opera is really good. It's got a lot of features. It has uh, FTP support and mail support. And uh, it's pretty much just like any of your other standard web browsers that I'm just about to talk about. It's, it's really good. It doesn't have much of a market share, but it's a great browser. Then uh, number two on the list, actually these are really tied. We've got uh, Chrome. So Chrome's a lot of fun, Chrome's good. Everybody loves the add-ons on Chrome. Uh, it currently has the, the largest market share out of all browsers. I think it's overtaken uh, Internet Explorer in fact, which is interesting. And uh, Chrome is, re is really quite fast for the fact that it does everything, really, that you want a browser to do. And last but not least, in fact, uh, number one alongside Chrome is Firefox. Firefox is great, open source, has a lot of add-ons, does what you want it to do, very safe, secure, just like Chrome, all good. And uh, yeah, it's just a great all-around browser that a lot of people like and of course is the default browser for uh, Linux Mint as well. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, we've had uh, NetSurf, then the Epiphany browser, then the Opera browser, then uh, Chrome and Firefox or Firefox and Chrome depending on how you feel about that one. Sometimes it can be a pretty subjective thing. But I um, hope you've enjoyed guys, but that's pretty much it. Those five as you can see there. Thanks for your time. Cheers.